So I'm doing a review of the Lopi 1.6 quart ice cream machine that I bought. And so here we are. This machine is a 1.6 Lopi stainless steel ice cream maker with built-in compressor and LCD digital display. As you can see, the LCD digital display is right there and the buttons and the ice cream goes into the round part as seen there. The first thing that I'm going to talk about are all of the pieces of the machine that come with it. So I guess I could take this out of here. This is just the basic part of the machine, the chunk, the stainless steel with the compressor inside and the, this one has a three prong plug-in. And then we have the manual here that comes with it and it's got the basics. This is a mixer, the mixing part that will go into this container as you can see here. And that is what will be mixing the ice cream when the machine is turning it. So that's the mixing insert the ice cream container that goes inside. This is a measuring cup that is one cup exactly if you fill it to the top. There's a scraper and the scraper is actually really nice because it fits in here so nicely. This is an ice cream scoop that comes with it as well and it's got a little pop-up popper. I don't actually use that very often. And then this is the lid. The nice thing about this lid is actually this little hole that opens right there. That is for if you're adding things into the ice cream, and I'll show you how that works. So you have the ice cream in the machine. There's ice cream in here, and it's spinning and freezing. When there's ice cream in the machine, you don't necessarily want to take the whole lid off to pour in add-ins such as candy or chocolate or whatever you're putting in. So those are all the pieces that we have with this machine. And let's get started. This ice cream maker has good things and bad things about it, obviously, as most things do, and I'm going to tell you, first, the great things that I love about this machine, and second, I'm gonna tell you the things that I actually don't love about the machine and that could be better. So one nice thing about this machine is that it actually has a built-in compressor. The compressor means that the freezing unit is inside here. You, as an ice cream maker, don't need to put anything into the freezer ahead of time. There's no salt, you don't put any salt in here. There's no hand cranking. The machine does all of that as soon as you fill this container with your ingredients. So that's the first pro of this machine. And really, that's probably the nicest thing, one of the main reasons why I bought it. Another thing to note about the built-in compressor is that with the machines that have this feature, it creates a smoother texture of ice cream because while the ice cream is spinning, it is freezing faster than it would be in a different model that did not have its own compressor. The faster the ice cream freezes, the smoother the texture and the less time there is for ice crystals to form and the overall better quality you will have. So if you want high quality ice cream, you're gonna want a compressor and fast freezing, ideally 30 to 40 minutes um, of freeze time. And so that's just a great thing about this machine is this machine freezes quickly and evenly and there's less time for ice crystals to form and it creates a nice product. Another thing I love about this machine is the fact that this container comes out. This is where the ice cream will be when you are making ice cream. It will be inside of this and you can just pull this out of the machine and take that to the side instead of working with this big clunky thing and trying to get ice cream out of here. You can take that piece out and work with it over here. So an obviously important part of buying an ice cream maker is the ease of use. And as you can see with these four buttons, there's a power, time up, time down, and start and stop. So it doesn't get much easier than that when you're making ice cream. What you do is you just pour ice cream in here and you're gonna push the power button and it will come up with 60 minutes on there and you can add or lower the amount of time that you want to freeze it for depending on which kind of product you're making. And then you just push start and this will start spinning and freezing. I usually start it before I put the ice cream in so that this is already cold and the freeze time for my ice cream will be a little bit quicker. And then you can stop it or push power off when you're finished and that's it. It's pretty simple. Another nice thing about this machine, and it's very important, is the price tag. So when I was looking to purchase this machine, I was looking at different brands, different size machines, and I was also checking out the prices because that's important. And this one was 
about $180, which was, it sounds expensive, but compared to the competitors, it was a decent price for what you get. The built-in compressor makes it a little bit more expensive, but I thought this machine sounded like it was gonna be a good bang for my buck for what I needed it for at home, making ice cream all the time. So now we're gonna talk about the negative sides of the machine and how I think it could be improved. Manual. This is a negative in my opinion. It does have all the basic safety things, important notices, and how to use the machine in a basic way. But what I wish it had was better instructions on ice cream making and recipes. There are a few recipes in there. I tried one and I didn't love it. Instead, I had to go and figure out how to make my own ice creams on my own and I thought that this machine was kind of targeted for the home use and for people who aren't necessarily professional ice cream makers so I thought that their manual could be a lot better if they explained a little bit more about ice cream they explained a little bit more about ice cream making, gave some more recipe tips, things like that. They could improve this purchase so much with that paper manual if they just tucked more information in there that they obviously know because they are the ice cream experts. I've seen other ice cream maker manuals and they were better. The thing with this machine is it is loud. When it is turning and compressing, it makes a lot of noise and you can definitely hear it when we're in the other room watching TV or doing other things. The more frozen the ice cream gets, the slower that this paddle will be turning inside of there. It'll start to slow down, and that improves the sound a lot. It makes it a little bit quieter, but overall, it's a pretty loud machine. But it's fine if you're just making ice cream during the day and nobody's sleeping. Another negative aspect of this machine it has to do with getting the ice cream out. So once the ice cream is frozen into this container, it will be all over this mixer and trying to get frozen ice cream out of these little crooks and crannies is so difficult and I feel like I lose a lot of ice cream in the process from melted while I'm trying to scrape it off and falling on the floor and getting where it's not supposed to go and plus it's just a hassle. I don't know if it's the design of this piece or what but it's definitely a challenge every time to get ice cream off of this piece and into another container for storage. Another negative aspect of this machine that I don't necessarily love is how small this container is. So this is a 1.6 quart machine, and so that is blatant when you buy the machine, exactly how big it's gonna be. For at-home use, for family use, that's fine, but if you're going to be using this machine for a birthday party or for a family get-together, you're probably going to have to make a few batches, and each batch takes about 40 minutes of freeze time, plus the time for prep, and that's gonna be a lot of time if you're only making 1.6 quarts at a time. You can see it doesn't even go up my whole hand. So it's pretty small. There I've showed you the things that I love and dislove, love and dislike about my machine that I had bought. And overall, I do love it. But if you're looking for a small, compact, easy to use machine and you don't want to deal with salt and you don't want to deal with ice everywhere and pre-freezing, this is a great machine for you. I will be linking this machine in the description if you want to check it out. I bought it off of Amazon. I'm sure you can get it other places as well. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!